Good morning, I'm Bridget Speckman and welcome to the Art and Design Newscast. Our graphic design students showcased a wonderful exhibit in the Kenny Gallery called What's Your Identity? complete with traditional CD designs and original book covers, as well as beautiful branding designs. Congratulations to our graphic design students and their teachers, Mr. Spatarella and Mr. Benchko. Let's take a look. Our wonderful sophomores competed in the citywide cover design challenge to submit a front and back cover for the official New York City High School Directory given to 7th and 8th graders. Congratulations to Nova Stanley, Alari Billing, and Angel Fang for their winning published designs and special thanks to the teachers Mr. Landegger and Miss Edelman. Let's have a look at their designs and hear from the winner of the first place prize, Nova Stanley. It was amazing to win the high school cover contest. Uh, it's been an honor having everyone support, my teachers and my friends. Um, this has been a really amazing experience. Um, the message that I was trying to tell with my cover is that anyone can pursue a future in New York, no matter your age, your race, or if you have a disability, everyone's entitled to the same opportunities and future in New York City. As love will steer the stars, so will the Drama Club with their upcoming production of Hair. Their first performance will be Thursday, May 2nd at 3.30 p.m. And performances run until May 18th. Tickets are $3 for students and $10 for adults with reserved seating online. Please note that students cannot apply for reserved seating. Tickets will be sold during your lunch period. Thank you to the Drama Club and Ms. Sorensen for working so tremendously hard. Here is a short trailer of what to expect at the play. In addition to the graphic design exhibition, the illustration department exhibited. Because the illustration department is the largest department in the school, the illustration exhibition was broken into two exhibits. Here are some images from the exhibitions. The sophomores spent half the year working with both the English and the Social Studies departments on a research paper on an enduring issue facing the history of the world. Big thanks to Mr. McCarthy for organizing the whole thing. The, uh, the purpose of this year's research paper was to help prepare the students for the June 3rd Regents examination, which has changed. And there's a new essay called the Enduring Issues Essay. And, and the purpose is to kind of help students understand that there are recurring themes throughout history, such as human rights violations. So English and social studies split it, and one did the process, which is like learning how to do research and how to kind of write a bibliography in sight, and history kind of focused more on content. 
And one of the secondary effects of this is the kids were able to have the freedom to choose a topic that they wanted to learn about and feel connected to. And uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing what they came up with. The topic I chose was the, the Cambodian genocide, and I chose it because I wanted to learn more about my family's history because I am Cambodian. I think I am better prepared for our regions and for college research papers in the future because now I have actually know about more of enduring issues, which already covered the topic for our readiness exam, and definitely for college because now I actually know how to write a well-formatted paper for my further research papers. I think I'm definitely better prepared for the regions because since we have to write about an enduring issue, I have an enduring issue that I'm personally close to, attached to, so I have that as my go-to. I chose Jehovah's Witnesses during World War II under the Nazi Germany because I'm a Jehovah's Witness myself, so it was part of my history, my religious history. I chose Chinese colonialism. I wanted to do something different, something to broaden my knowledge on um, the past inside China and politics today because China is a big topic right now in the news. I feel like this paper has taught me how to write an effective research paper, especially considering with all the resources that we have. Like for example, the teachers helped out a lot. There was time after school for us to work on it, including the outlines that they gave us. So it really helps me get some structure and look into the future about what my research paper will look like and how I can create an effective one that will get my point across. If you enjoyed this newscast, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's all for this newscast. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.